In this video, let us see another problem on design of welded connections. We have to design a welded connection to connect two plates of width 200 mm and thickness 10 mm for 100% efficiency. Let us assume the uh, initial image like this. Two plates are like this. We have to connect with the two fillet welds, this side and this side. Uh, and it, it will appear in 3D like this. So along this length, we will be having the fillet welds. That is 200 mm. So we have to design the plate well. Let us assume we have 10 plates. Okay, and thickness is given as 10 mm for both plates. Let us consider thickness of plate is 10 mm. So what they are mentioning is mentioning efficiency. So we have to design the welded joint for 100% efficiency. So what is IST efficiency? Efficiency is the strength of joint. I mean joint strength. Design joint strength by plate strength or strength of the plate. So into 100. In order to get 100% efficiency, this value should be 1. That means strength of the joint should be equal to strength of the plate. So let us try to find both. Let us first find out the strength of the plate. Strength of plate, we can find it out. This is just the area, um, multiplied by area. I mean, the uh, yield stress multiplied by area of cross section, gross area of cross section divided by partial safety factor m0 so let us try to find it out so what is f1 so for fe4 templates yield strength is 250 according to page number 13 sorry page number 14 here is 2062 for fe4 templates it is 200 and uh, less than thickness less than 20 is a 250 yield strength is 250 newton per mm square 250 mpa okay. this 250 by gamma m naught is so from, let us find out from table number five of partial safety factor so here it is resistance of the member governed by the yield stress sorry uh, yielding yeah, gamma m0 is 1.1 here it is right, 1.1 into area gross area of this section so that is thickness 200 sorry there is a width 200 into thickness 10 mm so we will be getting it as 45 45 45 45 45 newton it will be like this so strength of the plate we got it right plate strength we have to find out now joint strength so second one joint strength we shall find out joint strength we have to we have to use the formula fwd is equal to fwn by gamma mw here this is mentioned in code book page number 80 let me show you that. Here it is. Design strength of the fillet will shall be based on the throat area. So that has to be multiplied with the throat area. FWU by FWN by comma MW. And here FWN, uh, there's a nominal, uh, nominal strength. And is FU by under root 3 multiplied by the throat area. Multiplied by effective area. I'll write area effective here. Okay, in order to find out this area effective area, let us write whatever we have. So I will write it instead, I will write it like this. If WN is FU by root 3 into effective area. A effective. So here FU we have ultimate tensile strength for um, page number one uh, page number 14 we have it as i have already shown 
sodium phase number of potassium here ultimate tensile strength for this grade is 10 newton per mm square or 10 newton per mm square or 10 mega pascal area effective is depending on effective throat thickness into effective length L effective or LW so what is now L effective L effective is is the total length of the weld length normal length minus two times the size of the weld so here I will show you in the specifications here the effective length is LW is L minus two times yes okay so that is if length we have normal length that is a width so along this this is the length of the belt so that is 200 mm minus 2 times the size of belt we know 200 so what is the size of the belt so for this size of the belt we have minimum size of the belt as 3 mm okay let us let me show you the table uh, from the code book here page number 28 So here it is table number 21 here is so a minimum value is 3 okay and uh, here maximum value also is given clause number 10.8.1 let me show you 79 10.5.8.1 here it is where fillet weld is applied to the square of the edge of the part the specified size of the weld should not generally be at least 1.5 mm less than the edge thickness in order to avoid the washing down of the exposed areas. That is simply nothing but here yes, let us find out. So in order to find out the size of weld, size of weld S is equal to minimum size, you should not, minimum size should, uh, should be 3 mm. How 3 mm? Let me show you again. So here from this table, min. Uh, thickness is up to 10 mm, then the minimum size is 3 mm. So I'm writing minimum size is 3 mm, maximum is so maximum size of the value is max is from 10.5.8.1 of uh, one clause. Uh, it is thickness of the plate minus 1.5 mm. So thickness of the plate we have 10 is my 1.5, this is 8.5 mm. So, is the minimum value, it should be greater than 3 mm or it should be, uh, so it should be less than 8.5 mm. So, we can assume the size of the weld 8 mm, that is completely our assumption, that is in between 3 and 8, right, 8.5, right. So, we can assume uh, it has 8.5 mm, so L effective we can find out 200 minus, so in place of yes, I will substitute 2 into 8. So now effective length is, we will be getting 200 minus 16, that is 368 mm, that is L effective, we got L effective, next what we need, effective throat thickness we have to find, effective throat thickness, this effective throat thickness is 0 0.7 times or K is, I will show you the specifications. Here it is mentioned, right? K into S, effective throat thickness. What is K? K is a constant factor. I will show you the code book. Okay, here it is. Uh, page, uh, table number 22, K into S. K is 60 to 90 degrees because uh, yes, we, uh, our plates are connected 90 degrees. I will show you. Our plates are being connected 90 degrees. So it is 90 degrees fillet weld. So K is... 0 0.7 and size of the weld is 3 um, okay size of the weld he, uh, is here what we have assumed here in between 8 mm that is in between 3 to 8.8 so we will be getting it as 5.6 mm so we have uh, a effective area now ETT e, 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 effective throat thickness multiplied by L effective. So effective throat thickness we got it as 5.6 and effective length we have 368. 
okay how it is 300 uh, this is multiplied by 2 we will be getting 368 because these are two welds this is a 200 this is 200 we have to uh, remove i mean we have to subtract it twice 368 into 2 so that is 368 so we will be getting it as 2060.8 mm square that is effective area so once we got the area effective we can find out this one let us find it f w n is equal to f u we have o 10 by root 3 into area effective we just call it as 2060.8 so how much is it 487819.4 newton so we have to find out the design strength f w d is f w n by gamma m w here we are assuming it as shop weld so f w n is the value directly is here 487819.4 by gamma m w is the shop weld page number 36 uh, number 30 the building partial safety factor is 1.25 for shop weld shop fabrication we will be getting 390255 newton fwd so what we generally uh, said so in order to get 100% efficiency joint strength should be equal to the plate strength so here strength of the plate is uh, this much and here this is strength of joint so there is the difference of both so overall difference is how much 4545 4545.45 minus 390255. So there is overall how much is the difference? 64289. 64289.92 kilonewton. Sorry, newton. So there is uh, there is the difference of this much uh, uh, strength. So we have to provide now slot weld or plug weld okay let us provide slot welds of this area in order to find out the strength of the weld strength of slot weld slot weld or plug weld we can provide if wd is of course f w n by gamma m w okay f w n is F u by root 3 into area of the slot. So very simply we can find it out. Hmm. So this is 410 by root 3. We don't know the slot weld area. Area of slot weld let me say. A S W. So in order to find out F W D. That is simply divided by partial safety factor gamma mw which is 1.25 into area of slot. So how much we get? So this is altogether 189.37 area of slot. So for which strength we have to provide? So the gap strength we have to provide the slot bed. That is how much? This much. 64. 289 is equal to 189.37 a slot area of slot weld. So from this we can find out area of slot weld as 64289 by 189.37. So we'll be getting it as 339.5 mm square. So altogether let me draw the diagram. Here it is slot weld. Okay. Here initially this is the weld. And here we are providing slot weld. So let us divide it into two parts. So can we do this? So 
here it is dwelled plug well we are drawing whatever plug well was not well here this is let us assume 70 this is 10 17 to 10 170 170 here 170 here twice 170 plus 170 340 so we are providing it for 100 percent efficiency so already wells are there you are providing another slot ring help of another slot build so that now the strength of plate is equal to the strength of joint so we have now designed this welded joint for 100 percent efficiency thank you